Move on to the last one, Washington State. This is this is this is our boy. The Washington State Cougars, look, eleven and two last year. Seven and two in conference. Returning starters, they got seven on offense, six on defense. Experience wise, though, number ten in the conference, number one hundred in the country. Uh, head coach Mike Leach, forty nine and forty in seven years. He has finally gotten a defense that has has stayed there and maintained even after uh, Alex Grinch goes off to Ohio sure. State, now Oklahoma. Um, he's he's got this defense to go with this high powered offense. They are thirty seven and fifteen over the last four years. That is really really good at, at Washington State. Hell yes. Yep. Uh, Eastern Washington graduate transfer, and the solid verbal guys call him Gage Gubrud. Now, I think it's Gage. I was about to say, I think it's Gage. But I think I like Gage better. All right. I'm going to go with Gage. So, Gage Gubrud is going to be the quarterback. Uh, 11,000 total yards and 100 touchdowns at Eastern Washington. He looks to continue what Gardner Minshew did in 2018. Seven of their eight top wide receivers return. Four of their five top offensive linemen. Uh, number 42 total and scoring defense. Senior safety Jalen Thompson is going to lead the D. Only three starters return on the front seven. But I think they've got the guys to be able to replace them. Yeah. Tough road schedule. Uh, I think Leach and defensive coordinator Tracy Clays have heightened the expectations to contend for the Pac-12 South every year. I think their road games are ridiculously hard. Uh, I think they win every home game, and I think that they beat Houston on, well, on the road, but neutral site in Houston at NRG Stadium. Um, but I got them eight and four. The uh, the over-under for them, by the way, uh, is eight. Over is minus 125. Under is plus 105. So Vegas thinks that it's more likely they get to nine wins than seven. That's right. But I, I think I've got them sitting right on eight. Uh, and here's here's why. Um, they play at Utah. I think that's a loss. I think they lose at Arizona State because... Coming off a of bye week. You think they, off, can't, they can't figure it Arizona out. Arizona State's also coming off a of bye. So, but I, I think they, there's always that one game, right? Yeah, they do always lose a game to a team they and, should And last year, beat. they didn't lose that game, oh, but they got... taken from them. Well, they, well, no, no, no. They got super close. Which game were you talking about? USC game. Okay, that one, yes. Absolutely was taken from them. But the the game that they should not have lost that they got real close to was Cal. That's right. That's right. Um, so this year at Arizona State, I think it's going to be tough. Uh, they've got at Oregon. I think that's a loss. They've got at Washington. Until they beat Washington, I'm not going to pick them to do it. I agree. Um, but I've got them winning over Stanford, over Oregon State, at Cal, Colorado, UCLA, Houston, Northern Colorado, and New Mexico State. So I think eight and four this season would be pretty good. I, I don't think that uh, Gubrud can be as good as Gardner Minshew was. Now I could be completely I wrong. I've seen on that. Mike Leach make lesser men. I know better I know. quarterbacks, but but I've also seen where like this is Washington State is an eight and four, nine and three kind of team, talent wise. Okay. So getting to eight wins again. I think is something to be uh, applauded. Don't, don't, I absolutely don't disagree with you there. I, I, eight and four is still a, a good season at Washington State. Yes. That is a successful year. You go to a bowl game, win that bowl game, you get nine wins. That's a successful year. No doubt about it. What you got them at? I got them at 10 and two. I got them at 10 and two because I got them beating Utah, which is the biggest game I've got them beat. Utah's only loss. Okay. No, it's not. I've got Utah losing two games. Um, that's right. You had them eleven to one. I got them ten to. Um, and then I've got them the bye week beating them Arizona State. I got them losing at Oregon and at Washington. Okay. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Um, all right. So ten and two, and I've got them eight and four. I and love we... Michael Leach. I know you do. I think I want so badly for him, and I don't know that he'll ever do it because I don't think he cares about living in a big city with or even in a big college town with, like, a massive amount of, of pressure to win. I would love to see what he would do at a place like an Ohio State or a Michigan 
or uh, an LSU or a Florida or a Georgia or an Alabama, like where you have the best talent in the country or top 10 talent well, in the and, country. And almost unlimited resources. Yes. Right now, we've seen him be one of the best coaches in the country at maybe two of the poorest schools in the country. Yeah. I mean, they're in the hundreds of how much they spend on yeah. football. It's pretty crazy. Now, Lubbock is probably different today, but when he was there, it wasn't. It wasn't. No. You're right. You're right. All right, that's going to wrap up the Pac-12 South. Head over to winningcureseverything.com. Go over to betnow.eu. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.